Hello, my name is Vojtěch Pánek and I will present you our paper Meshlock, Mesh-based visual localization. This is a joint work with Zuzana Kukelová and Torsten Sattler from Czech Technical University in Prague. Visual localization is the task of estimating the exact position and orientation from which a given image was taken. As shown here, it is common to represent the scene as a sparse structure for motion point cloud. While achieving state-of-the-art results, this type of scene representation is tailored to the localization task and cannot be used for other tasks. In this paper, we thus investigate using meshes for visual localization as they can be used for other tasks as well. In current state-of-the-art pipelines, the offline part consists of running a structure for motion on top of database images. In online part, the image retrieval finds a set of database images similar to the query, Feature matching establishes point correspondences between the query and each of the retrieved database images. The 2D 2D matches are lifted to the third dimension thanks to the associated points from the structure for motion point cloud. And in the end, the 2D 3D matches are used to compute the pose estimate. In the case of changing the local features to another type, the structure for motion based pipeline needs to recompute the whole scene representation, including the expensive matching step between the database images. In the case of mesh-based pipeline, the representation can be kept even when the feature type changes. The only part that changes in the pipeline is the lifting of the two-dimensional matches to the third dimension, where we use depth maps rendered from the 3D mesh. The localization was evaluated on the night split of the Aachen day night dataset. When using the original images and rendering just the depth maps, our pipeline is achieving state-of-the-art results while having comparable memory consumption to the structure from motion-based representations. When rendering both the image and depth map from a textured or colored mesh, our pipeline is close to state-of-the-art while achieving lower memory consumption. The same pipeline without any adjustments is also able to achieve competitive results when using the matching against the renderings of meshes without any color information. That opens the possibility to use, for example, LiDAR scans to generate the map representations. Let me summarize the interesting results from our paper. We show that the dense representations can be more compact than the sparse ones. Our simple pipeline is able to achieve state-of-the-art results when using the original images and close to state-of-the-art results with images rendered from colored or textured meshes. We also show that the localization relative to raw geometry without any color information is possible. That opens the possibility to use for example LiDAR scans for visual localization. Our research code is publicly available. Thanks for watching.